this is Miss Ruth. I have these beautiful bird cards and I'm going to be sorting them today according to the color of the birds. Now, the primary colors, blue, yellow, and red, can be mixed together to make the secondary colors, orange, green, and purple. And these are the colors that we're going to look at today, the secondary colors. So here's my workspace. I have a mat rolled out on the floor and I have my color cards together at the top and my bird cards are face down. Okay, here's my first bird. How beautiful. It says the name is the small green barbette. This is a green bird. It has other colors too. The head is a totally different color from the body. It's mostly green. I'm going to put it here. Okay, my next bird. Wow. It has purple around its eye and a purple breast. The wings look kind of brown and the head is reddish orange. I think most of this is purple. I'm going to put this with purple. And the name of the bird is the purple grenadier. I wonder where the purple grenadiers live. I've never seen one. Now this looks like a tropical bird. It has that short curved beak that I've seen on a parrot or a parakeet. This bird is entirely green. It's a really bright orange beak. I'm going to put it with green. It's called the scaly breasted lorikeet. Wow. Look at those feathers on top of the bird's head. That is so interesting. This bird is mostly orange. So I'm going to put this with orange. And this is the Guianan cock of the rock. Such interesting feathers. Here's a bird that looks like something that maybe I could see where I live. I have seen birds that look similar to it. This is a Eurasian bullfinch and it has black and gray wings, a black head, and a bright orange breast that starts at its cheek. It looks like it stays in the winter wherever it lives because I see that the trees are bare. There's just some berries that maybe it's eating. And I think I see a little snow in the background. I'm going to put this Eurasian bullfinch with orange. All right, one last one together. Do you notice the beak on this bird? It's not short like some of the others. It's very long. This is the purple honey creeper and it has bright yellow feet. I'm going to put it with the purple birds. The small green barbette has gray feet. The purple honey creeper seems really special because its feet are so bright yellow. I don't see that on any of the other birds except maybe the cock of the rock. I'm going to keep sorting. There's so many birds. Maybe you'd like to learn the names of them. Maybe you would like to draw them. When you're done sorting your birds by color, you could draw them, you could make a booklet of them, you could have someone help you look up where these birds live, and you could learn their names too. You could also look at the beaks and sort them who has a long beak and who has a short beak. So there's a lot of different ways that you can categorize your birds. I hope that you enjoy these beautiful photographs of the birds that we
we live with here on our planet, and I will 